Okay, so these are the two boxes that the greenhouse comes in. This is the 8x12. And uh, the long box is definitely a team lift that is on the heavier side. And that one's pretty pretty easy for one person, just a little on the bulky. So, all right, let me get this uh, unpacked and we'll see everything that comes inside. All right, so we got all the parts basically open up. So these are the boxes. Uh, these are the plastic pieces that are there. They are unlabeled. And then this is some of the other accessory pieces. It does come with some tools and some spare parts, which is definitely helpful. Now, these are all uh, the metal pieces, and this was all in that heavier box. So these are all the pieces that do have some sort of label on them. So like that's an L20, to give you an idea. Um, chickens are noisy today. So, and then these are all the unlabeled pieces. Oh, actually, I just found a label on that one, so we can move that to a labeled side. And again, labels may be in here, but they may have shifted during shipping, just to kind of be aware of that. And they are black, and it is a par partially sunny day out here. So uh, they are getting a little on the warm side, so definitely something to be careful about. And you definitely need two people. I recruited my uh, son-in-law, so here we go. Okay, so that is your assembly instructions booklet. And we'll just flip through some of the pages, but they give you a parts list of everything that is supposed to come with it. So that's the other side, the parts list. And so the first part of the assembly instructions looks like it's going to have you start building the doors together. It does recommend wearing gloves and it looks like you need a drill with some drill bits. Not included. And then that's the right door assembly instructions. And then that's going to give you the next step is going to be basically the windows. There's a lot to do the manual. Basically, I would probably sit down, get this, read through it just to see everything that you're going to be going through. That's the base assembly. And then we'll kind of go through it as, as we go. But then that's like the wall. So there's going to definitely be some good matching up together. So, all right, stay tuned. Okay, so this is the first panel we put together. And obviously, we still got some more pieces to go, but it has a groove that starts at the top. So you can kind of see how that slides in through there. And all the glass pieces are marked as well with little labels. You just got a little bit of searching. And then sometimes it runs off the track a little bit like this, but we'll fix that up once we get the, uh, the extra bracing and stuff. So, okay, so on this, make sure that this metal piece basically hugs the outside of that so you can kind of see how that fits the bolts put them in loose so you get everything to fit first and then you can like tighten it down i'm using kind of like a drill to help the process don't over tighten them because these will strip out pretty easy as we found out with one and uh yeah so that's how that fits in there on that piece all right so we got both of these doors done and they kind of give you an idea that's a door handle so this is like kind of like the, the other lock part to it. Um, you can see on the inside of the door, that is the latch where this little piece runs into. And then it kind of gives you a quick orientation spin on that. So those are the bolts. Definitely do that by like a manual screwdriver. And then this is how the handle will turn. And then that will fit up into that latch. And then you have these little plastic button pieces that you can put in there for decoration. So, okay, so this window frame, let me kind of explain things. So, this slides on. I'll show you the other end in a second, but then you have a screw there. Let's see how that kind of like flares up. And that kind of like flares down on that side. So, just to kind of give you an idea of orientation. 
and then you know when you have this side correct because when you slide this on it, it's going to fold out flat on that and then the other piece so on the other end that's how that slides into that pocket so there you go okay so this as far as i can tell that is going to be the orientation of that and then these two bolts slide through this track at the end here I forgot to put that on, so I ended up having to loosen this bolt, slide that through, and I just made it hand tight for now, in case I have that orientation incorrect, but I think we're, we're good to go that way. All right, so we got the frame basically kind of up and out. So you have the corner pieces, the D306s, D1, you got the spike, D1, 306, C1, C1 are the sides. Then over here you have the smaller ones, the A1s, and the A1s because that's going to be your door frame and entrance here. And like I said, we're going to probably put it right up against where we got the chickens here. So the spikes should be interesting to get into the ground, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, so we got the corner frames all together. And then that is your spike there. Another spike on that side. And then the last spike over here. And we have the bolts loose just until we finish putting everything together and then we'll tighten it down. Um, yeah, that was my hammer. Don't recommend it. So make sure you have like a uh, like a mallet of some sort, rubberized mallet. Anyway. Okay, so these plastic corner pieces kind of go together like that. So these pieces, they basically just slip on and then you're gonna clamp it's gonna have a clamp piece that goes there we'll show you that in a little bit but just to kind of give you an idea these pieces will mirror the base pieces so if you have something that's mislabeled not saying things are mislabeled but if you have something that's mislabeled you can match it up a lot easier okay okay so these plastic pieces go like this and you want to make sure that the window edge is on the outside going around and you know you have it right because you have these holes on the inside that you're going to drill those brackets into okay so definitely only use your screwdriver on this because these are really easy to strip and basically you kind of want to line it up hold the clip from the bottom and you'll feel it when it grips and then you want to stop and back off and then you're good to go. So don't over tighten this for sure. Okay, so you want 104, you want that little plastic piece in there and then you're gonna have part of the door frame. You know it's a door frame because it has these bolts and you are gonna be looking for the angle support which goes here down to the bottom hole you know when you have a 90 degree angle at the bottom that you have that correct and it just kind of give you an idea so that plastic piece on that side is there and it gets screwed into and then the bottom gets screwed into that and then we are going to work through what is missing here but so far so good okay so this step should look like this so you got your bracket you got the two screws and then you need the two bolts here and then that's how that lines up so just kind of give you an idea and that's how that side's going together so that was a little tricky to figure out i'll give you a view from the back side so you can definitely see how that's to be configured okay so we started putting some of the panels in and on the front, you have these supports that lock in the, the windows. And then back here, another look at the bracing. And then again, the L4B, four of those go across the back and that will hold the panels in. So and then we just start putting the top, top pieces in. Okay, so this is how the peak goes. 
And this is where you find out how square everything is and how level your ground is. Okay. And then this is the cross member beam that goes across. Make sure you have the orientation right so that's going straight. So that's going to match that next beam going across to there. And then this obviously goes there. And then at this point, we tightened all these bolts up just to make sure that we had that nice and strong. So there you go. All right, so make sure that you're putting two and two to restrain this peat. Okay. All right, so make sure you're putting two and two bolts on either side of this track and then three in the middle for the windows. And that goes all the way down to these two bars on this side and then these two bars on that side. So basically kind of like the middle section up here. And then this middle one just gets regular. Okay, so some interpretation for the, the window panel. That was, I gotta say, that was interesting. So, all right, so you have these brackets, they go across, and then you're gonna get the cross member of the window up here. So that kind of goes in there. Um, then this was very unclear in the directions. But again, you get the bracket, you get the beam that runs across. So the window kind of just sits on that, obviously. And then this piece is the will hold, I don't have tightened in yet, so excuse me for that. And then this is what is gonna be for your adjusting of the ventilation. So you get a whole bunch of different things to do. Once I get that nice and everything centered, that would be great, but just to kind of give you an idea. So that is how that all goes together. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, the directions were a little unclear and I don't have this whole structure exactly square on the ground. So you're gonna get a little bit of gaps here, but that's just on ours, probably not on yours. And then uh, that peak, there is a piece that goes on top. Hopefully you can kind of see that with tap screws. That's just another piece of reinforcement, so. Okay, just to make sure we have all the bolts that you're gonna need. So you got one bolt here, another bolt that's here on the track that goes to the bracket bolt here that does the cross member that goes across and then a bolt for the bracket there and then those bolts. So just kind of give you a quick overview of one side, what it looks like. And again, this is for, that's how that gets placed. And then when not in action, you can fold that over. So that's kind of like out of your way per se. And then on this side, those are all the bolt configurations as we go through, just to make sure that you have enough. All right, so all these screws have to be removed like this. And again, this side's a lot straighter. This side, we're not so level, but that's our ground, probably not your ground. So coming on this side, so that is where you put your gutter system. And then you have this bracket that goes underneath and to kind of give you an idea you are putting a bolt in the track putting a bracket up and then you're putting those fancy nuts on the bottom and then obviously you screw down your gutter system okay so greenhouse is done let me bring it through on this side so that's what the back of it looks like some noteworthy things so you have uh we didn't put the gutters in completely yet uh, probably because we're going to move this around, but that is how that gutter piece goes in. The instructions are kind of difficult to see how that works. And then, like I said, this bracket that goes underneath here, obviously you got to tighten that. But that will hold that gutter system together. And good thing it's raining because you can kind of see how the water comes down. And I thought the water was going to get hung up on his lip here, but it, it rolls right over. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. Okay, coming to the doors, you do have these, here, better focus. You do have these hooks on there that will hold the doors open for you. And then let's go on the inside real quick, give you a quick view. So again, really nice, big area on the inside. And then these windows, they go up. And then you have these slots, you can adjust it for airflow. 
So that gives you kind of an idea. And then back outside, that's how that window looks open. So it's great for ventilation. Uh, even on this cloudy, rainy day, when this was shut, and there's a couple ways you can kind of like, oh, and there's a couple different ways you can kind of put that. And I've actually left this loose here. Uh, you can make it much tighter, but uh, when you're inside, even on a rainy, cloudy day, it does get nice and toasty in here. And then that's kind of a view from the inside looking out. You go all the way in the back. So again, a nice big area. That is the rest of the gutter system. Like I said, I haven't put that in yet. Door hinges, they're here. And there's a little bit of a groove I have covered up since I put it in already. Um, that this hinge sits in. You can kind of see where it's cut out up here. And then the other hinge sits on the outside of the door. And so they close like this. Actually, like that. And then you twist the handle down. And then that like locks the door for you. So it's shut. Nice and good. Let me show you from the inside. So from the inside, that is how this handle works. So it goes up and holds that. And yes, the door lifted up. That's just because uh, I have some work to do on the ground. We thought this was going to be a level position when we brought it here. Um, it was not. So definitely make sure that you are as level as possible. Um, and that will make sure that everything seals up nice and tight. Uh, noteworthy stuff I here on the inside. Make sure you put this bracket. We actually got like I think two extra one of these brackets. There's no other place to mount that. We thought maybe up in a corner, but uh, that's not the case. Oh, I love that you got the windows basically everywhere. It's actually getting kind of warm in here as we're talking, but I like that. And again, you can see how I don't have that tightened in there, so I can slide a little bit till I figure out what the correct positioning of that actually was. Um, these window sections, when you're tighten, tightening these bolts down, leave them a little loose because what happened is when we were putting a gutter system on the outside, I'll show you. And again, here's the door handle. Nice little, I love this little hook feature in here. It's pretty awesome, okay. So when we were coming out here, again, not in level ground, so you can kind of see how the gutter system dips down a little bit. Uh, again, that's just how that was situated. But again, window-wise, so I just got to adjust that a little bit. But up at the top, make sure that all the panels are in because we had a lot of overhang here with the, the gutter system. So we definitely had to straighten up as much as we could to get that aligned as well. And then this one again, that one's, this one was pretty well perfect. And the panel slid up really good. Oh, if you're mounting it close to a building, uh, make sure you give yourself enough room that you can slide all the panels up. We were a little bit tight here next to the, the chicken coop. So that was definitely a uh, little bit of an issue. And again, we had to raise sections up so we could get this thing as straight as we possibly could. Um, again, the doors are nice and lined up on that. But overall, this thing was a little time consuming putting together. But I think the overall view of this is really nice just to kind of give you an idea of how that looks but yeah it came out great definitely need two people that's another thing we found out as we were building definitely want a second person because you're just going to need some help making sure that everything is nice and squared and put away but again sharp looking greenhouse
Uh, anyway, uh, Brian from Gradual Hall, thanks for watching and be safe out there. This is a neat little system. Yeah, so what? Cool. This, there's a tube here? No, you, you can talk. It's okay. I'm just filming it so everybody at home can see how the ward kind of goes right over that, the face of that.